Okay, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and get right started here. Jump right in. Come back over here. We're going to start building some uh, inner detail here. Let's go ahead and start with... Cylinder about like so. Okay, and I'll convert that to an edible polygon. Grow, control I, <coughs> delete, select. We're going to bevel. Okay, we're going to need to bring that out so it's flat. Okay, bevel. And then... Okay. Zoom. Okay, let's select... Let's just ring it. And loop it. And chiffa. And we're going to need just some like boxes and okay, maybe a uh, sphere here and here. Smaller one segments down to say eighteen. Okay, <coughs> hemisphere that over here. Hemisphere this. Turn that down to say twenty-four. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going here. Okay, we have that done. Um, let's come on over here. Go on our extended perimeters. Grab an oil tank. Okay, let's go ahead and slice from 90 to 90. Negative 90. Maybe. Okay, so we're going to need 0, okay, so 180 to 0, okay, angle snap, 90 degrees, select, let's bring our height down just a bit, okay. Select, shift, and drag. Okay. Okay. And let's go ahead and go back in our primitive. Let's grab a C clamp. Okay. Let's grab a box okay Just kind of convert them all to an edible poly. We're going to attach all of these. Right, unattach. Okay, let's go ahead. Select here. Oop. Oh. 
still a weld. Okay. Select all our top facing polygons. Okay. We're going to actually don't even really need to do that. What we can do is just kind of attach all these guys here. Attach everybody to the party. Isolate selection. Around to the back. Start deleting stuff. Just make sure we have ignore back facing on. <coughs> Turn off our move tool so that we don't <coughs> move anybody by accident. Delete. Let's go ahead and go into our uh, vertex mode and just delete the back facing vertex off of the spheres to delete all those parts we don't need. Okay, so now we select here. And we don't need to chamfer, obviously, the uh, cylinder or any of those. So just go ahead and use your element select to select the boxes and then hold on control select edge we're going to chamfer turn our chamfer way down okay and then we got some very basic simple uh, detail under there that you're never really gonna, you're not going to get that close to it so then okay so we can zoom out you can see it's there but you're never really going to get any closer than that to it. And with it being underneath there, it's going to be in shadow anyway. So, Okay, turn it off, select here. We're going to go ahead and attach it. Now it's mirrored onto the other side. Done. Okay. And we're starting to get somewhere. We're really starting to pull this together here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's do some simple plates back here. Okay. Turn that off so that we can see what side we're supposed to be working on. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now, come over here. Box. And just grab out to about there, down, zoom. Okay. convert that to an edible polygon. We're going to attach here. To attach off, we're going to select here and here. Grow. So I delete. We're going to select this one and Jeffer. Okay. Turn that off. Select by element. Shift and drag. Element, shift and drag to element. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead, come over here, grab an extended primitive oil tank. Come on. Let's turn the radius down a bit. There we go, make it a little longer. Okay. Slice on from say 180. 
Okay, so that's backwards. We want to go 0 to 180. We're going to rotate that into position. 90 degrees. Okay. And just kind of shift and drag it over. Okay. <coughs> shift and drag it again. It's good. Alright. <coughs> awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had this cold for so long it's not even funny. Okay, that's it. it is a nettable poly. Let's go ahead. Uh, control A. We're going to go ahead and chamfer. Turn that way down. That's good. Do that. Okay, attach. Those two. Okay, we already deleted the back facing off of there. Uh, we could delete the back facing off of there, but at this point I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay. And we'll just shift and drag this back over to here. Click OK. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another box. Standard primitives box. Zoom in. Convert that to an edible polygon. Select this face. Select there. Okay. Shift and drag. Over to here. Okay. Come on over here. Cylinder. Go ahead and select there. Okay, move this in. Let's go ahead and extrude. And bevel now. Extrude it. Okay. And turn bevel off. We're going to go ahead and just Turn that off. Rotate this around 180 degrees. Okay. Click OK. Move this over to here. Okay. We're going to select here. We're going to attach this. Okay. Delete that. Okay, that's both deleted already. That's good. Turn that off. We're going to grab this element, move this forward, select here, move that in, select here, probably move this in a little bit. out. Select. Wish you wouldn't do that. Okay, grow. Turn that off. Alright. Element select. Move this over to who knows? Move those back where they should be. Okay. Select, move it out. Okay. 
make sure you got uh, ignore back facing turned off. Collapse. Oop, don't want to collapse. Want to weld. Okay. Those are all welded together now, nice and pretty. Back over here. Move that back on over there. Okay, that's good. Turn that off. Okay. Just gonna drag this over to here. That's good. Alright. <coughs> Select here. Grow. Control I delete. Turn that off, come over here, do the same thing. Grow. Uh, grow. Control I delete. Okay. Attach. Attach off. Let's go ahead. Select all. Chamfer. Good. Nothing too, you know, insane. It's underneath the darn thing. You're probably never going to see it anyway. So there you go. Okay, and I'll select this. Attach. Attach. Attach off. Select here. And attach. And it should mirror it over to the other side. Okay, it's good. Let's grab these. Let's grow it once. I'll move the whole thing in. Okay. Come on over here. Create a box. Create a box. Okay. <coughs> Let's go ahead, go into our extended perimeters. Let's grab a hose, drag it out about like this. Okay, flex segments off. Let's go 14. Okay, we obviously don't need that many segments. Turn that way down to say about there. Okay. Bound objects, pick. No. Pick. Pick. Okay. Tension. Tension. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's not really what I wanted, so we'll just do it the whole fashion way, I guess. Alright. Uh, do -do -do -do. Turn that off. Let's go to standard parameters. Go to our move tool, select here. Move this out to about yonder. Okay. Let's convert that to an edible poly. Select here. Zoom in so you can see what we're doing. And let's just line it up so that it looks pretty. That's good. Come on over here. Over. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and do a cylinder. Pour it in the middle. Okay. Right click, convert to an edible polygon. Select. Grow. Control A, delete. Bevel. Okay. 
about there. Okay, turn it off. We're going to want to rotate this around probably about five degrees. Not, the, not just the face, the whole thing. I don't like rotating faces. Okay. And yeah, it looks about good. Okay. Hinge from edge. Let's go ahead and pick our hinge right here. I'm going to go 90 degrees. Four, it's fine. Okay. Grow. Okay, let's just select the verts, move them over. About like that. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, turn that off. Just want to move this down a bit. Okay, let's take the whole thing and rotate it. No, nope, stop that. Like so. Select bevel. Good enough. Delete. Okay. All right. Then. Okay. Grow. <coughs> Control I. Delete. Okay. Let's go ahead. Attach this. Camper. Point zero zero two. Okay. And we'll go ahead and attach this part. Turn that off. Okay. Here we're going to start with a box. Bring it down to about there. Zoom in. Convert to a normal polygon. Select this. Move it up. no wrong way. Right here. Move it in. Move it up. Move this out. All right, that's about good, right about there. All right, so let's go ahead. <coughs> Connect chamfer. Okay, well, let's see. We forgot to move this part in first, about like so. Now we chamfer. you working. <laughs> oh, you just don't feel like working today, do you? Okay. Okay, go ahead and stop that for now. Chamfer. Oh, hey. What do we do there? 
Alright. Alright, let's do a weld just in case. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of chamfer these a little bit. Chamfer. Chamfer. Okay. Okay, shift and drag. Alright, one more time. Okay, select this guy, move him on up to the east side, so to speak. Okay, shift and drag. I'm down there about there, click OK, zoom in. Let's move him back. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna want to start with a cylinder here. from there. Okay. <coughs> Move them on out to about here. Okay. Convert that. Oh, wrong one. Edible poly. Okay. Select. Let's go ahead and bubble this out. Make kind of like a interesting little turbine or something. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's go ahead and bubble this out. Okay. Turn that off. Let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and move this over. And we'll go ahead and hinge from edge. Uh, 
90. Okay, let's go into an inset and a bridge. Okay, let's control uh, Z. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, we got some bad verts there. Inset. Actually, cancel. We'll go ahead and extrude. By zero. Click OK. Select them. Just kind of drag it in a little bit. Okay. Now bridge. There we go. That's better. Let's go ahead and camp for those. Not so much. OK. Alrighty. Turn that off, select here, shift, drag. Let's go ahead and grow. There we go. Okay, and then another. Okay. Again, you know, nothing too extravagant, just a little bit. Okay. And actually, I think I'm going to grab one of these. Alright. Select here. Shift and drag. And we're going to select that as an object. Okay, turn that off. Select here. We're going to go ahead and uh, effect pivot only. Center to object. Effect pivot only off. Okay. I'm move this in. I'm move this over to about there. Zoom. Okay, we're going to need to make this a lot smaller. But it's local. Local. Okay. Click 
OK. OK, go ahead and rotate this out a little bit, kind of even it out. Same thing with this one. OK, that's good. Fucked here. We're almost done with this uh, section, so we'll go ahead and finish it up before we move on to our next part in the tutorial. Just want to run a chamfer on these bits here. Here. My mom and my grandfather are in, probably hear them in the background discussing movie trivia from back in the day. Okay, go ahead and loop and chuffer. Click OK. We want these two. These. These. Look here. Okay. Jennifer. Click OK. All right. Turn this off. Let's go ahead and attach all this stuff here. Okay. Attach off. Okay. There you go. There's, uh, for the most part, the engine. Lower engine. Have a look. Okay. And that's going to basically be it for the uh, bottom of the main part of the fighter. When we come back, we need to start uh, working on our plate details on the top. We need to detail the inner part of the uh, uh, hull here. We're going to need to detail this part here. We're going to need to start detailing the wings. Uh, that's basically all plate detail. Some campers. Tedious, but can be fun. So, we'll see you in the next bit. Bye-bye for now.